Hello everybody and welcome. This is King Gamer and thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to play Age of Civilizations 2, so let's jump straight into the video. Right, so here we are. We're going to start a, a new series, a new series of one province challenges. The, we're going to be playing in the year 1200. We're going to be playing as Desmond, a one province miner in Ireland. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to form the Republic of Ireland. For that, we need to acquire all the provinces on the island of Ireland. But furthermore, we're going to become the United Kingdom. So we will take the Welsh kingdoms as well as England, Scotland and the Kingdom of the Isles. And we will do all that in the first 700 turns. It sounds like a lot, 700 turns, but it's not. As you well know, turns go very, very quickly, especially when you're a small country and there's not a lot that you can do. The options will be the normal standard, um, default options, difficulty normal, AO aggressiveness 125%. Right, so let us play. First thing we have to do is allocate the technology points, we're going to give the majority to income taxation and military upkeep. We're going to make that our priority, although we will give them a couple of points to economic growth and population growth. Now, our income at the moment, the happiness of our country is 70%. So we're going to let it go down to 65%. So for that, we're going to increase the taxes to the maximum up to one unhappiness per turn. And we're going to do that for the first four turns. Reduce goods and investment to the minimum and research remains at 0%. Priority at the moment is to, is to build our treasury, to build armies. In terms of diplomacy, I think we're going to, to be friends with Connacht. Let's um, improve relations with him. And roll a couple of turns. Now this is the third turn. I think on the third turn, we want, we're going to take Thormund first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some loans. And we're going to take the full five loans to make sure that we don't we don't take any any chances, take any risks. So that's our second loan, um, third loan, fourth loan, and this our fifth. Right, so fifth, five is the maximum we're allowed, so that's it, and we've used the majority of our movement points with that, so we go another turn, and now we're going to recruit. Now, before we forget, we need to reduce the taxes, so we're going to start going a little bit positive, so we're going to keep it there for now, and we've got 3,000 to recruit, so that's it, we've got our money. What we're going to do is we're going to send the vast. We're going to declare war on Thormund. So declare war. We're going to take the majority. Send the majority of the troops to the capital where the fortress is. So that's our. It's about eight hundred. Go there. Um, and to send half and half to the other two provinces more or less and let's roll the first attack went well and the second but the third failed right so we've got 450 there so plan is let's send this to here let's keep those here defending we should be able to finish him off yeah. And now we're going to annex him. We're going to um, take all three provinces. 
excellent three provinces so we can annex them annex them all now we're still making a loss don't know whether to keep those troops I think we probably need to disband to be honest I think we will disband because we need to assimilate and um, and recuperate so we take our chances diplomatically we're still improving relations with Connacht so let's continue improving Kiel there doesn't like us very much either but I think we can probably start assimilating now if it's only a few turns at a time now we're going to stop recording while we're doing the assimilation because there's not much to show and it's boring so we'll come back when there's some action yeah, we've repaid the loans you know we're making a much faster progress now has diplomacy connect like us likes us um kill dead doesn't at the moment and Leicester, uh yeah Leicester is okay kill there is probably our biggest enemy and i think they would probably be the first ones to attack i would say because we've got just one province to defend and we've got the plague in Cork. That's not welcome. Oh well, now we have been, been insulted by Connacht, but um, we'll have to let that pass. Uh, minus six, minus 12 for Kildare, minus six for Connacht. I think Kildare will continue to be our main target. Unless, I suppose, we could improve relations with Kill there, and maybe go to Connacht since we can't um, improve relations with them because of the insult. It makes it a little bit more challenging because of two provinces to defend, but we will manage. And now an insult from Tyrone. And I tell you, these people are rude. They need to be taught a lesson. Right. Okay. So. Um, Let's go up to 10,000 maybe just to be 100% sure that we can handle them. We can afford that. Right, 10,000. So let's recruit our armies. So we're going to go uh, for a 2,000 army there and there. And this is where we're going to declare war. And I'm hoping that this 2,000 will be enough. Yeah, so far so good. And let's try half and half. More or less. Yeah, that's been a success. We've got a hundred percent. Let's annex in. Send the demands. Now, diplomatically, um, Tyrone, Kildare is okay now. And do a little bit of simulation. Hopefully, it won't take quite so long this time. Got a much, much healthier budget. I think Tyrone is probably going to be my next target. Only one province to defend. As long as I'm friendly with the other two, which I am at the moment. Now, how is England doing? Minus three, not in any wars. Okay, happy with that. Doesn't dislike us too much at the moment, so we're okay. Right, so we've done all our simulation and now it's a question of saving our money. Now we'll turn 117, 18. Um, we probably need to go up to um, 10,000 again to make sure that we can overpower Tyrone. I'm not going to take chances. We've got 10,000. Tell you, rather than taking loans, say. Let's go up to 12,000, 13,000, right, okay, let's recruit our armies. 
Let's have a look here. How many we can recruit? 7,000. We can do the rest in Galway. It will delay us one turn, but... Our next term is when we will declare war. Here we are. And they're at war with the Kingdom of the Isles anyway, so that's it's good for me. Hopefully he'll be distracted. With other wars. So that went relatively well. Relatively well. Maybe we should attack both um, provinces half and half. Yep. So that's been a success. We've got 100% again. So let's annex him. Send our demands and send the troops back to Galway to the fort. Right, so we're doing well. Let's do our assimilation now. Let's start saving again. Um, right, what's happening diplomatically? Kildare plus 5, Leinster plus 24. Leinster is currently at war with Kildare and Bowies. No, Gwynedd. Right. So it's probably a good time if they're beating each other up, they're wasting their resources and their money. It's going to be a lot, a lot harder to defend um, against Kildare, which is probably worth it. Let's go for Kildare first. See, they're big. They're getting attacked by Winnet. Probably Kildare too. But I think we need to do our full assimilation before. Let's do a similar thing. Let's go to um, about thirteen thousand gold. We're going to recruit our armies. Let's do some in the north a few more there um, because the fortress running out of movement points so let's recruit a few more there and the rest there right so this is when we declare war and we're just going to send everybody we're going to send everybody well, those three will go there, and this one will go to the capital with a fortress. And hopefully, not quite, but next this turn, they will fall. Okay, so 100%. have so got two provinces. And this 1600 are going to go there. I'm very tempted to attack Leinster. And I'm going to turn my diplomatic, my diplomacy with England and improve relationships, relations with England. Um, yeah. We can forget about Leinster, he's become the target of our ambition. It does simulate. I think for Leinster, we're probably going to need 5,000 would be enough. It's going to be a temptation to decide whether to assimilate or to save for the war. How is that war going? We've made peace. England is peace. Queen is at war with the Kingdom of the Isles. Scotland. Scotland doesn't like us. Which is unfortunate. We will improve relations with them next. Our diplomacy is minus 2 with England. Minus 24 with Scotland. I'm going to remove the diplomat from England. I'm going to send it to Scotland. More concerned about Scotland. Oh. Scotland has just insulted us. Carry on with England. Oh, we've got 5,000, 6,000. That's probably enough, I think. 
Let's try and do it without taking loans. It's declarable now. To attack there and there. Yep. So that's gone smoothly as well, so that's okay. We annex him. Now, Gwynedd is still at war with the King of the Isles. That's a huge temptation to take Gwynedd even before assimilating all this. At least do 15 turns of, a, of assimilation. Maybe let's get another 5,000 and we'll land, we'll land there. I think they're fairly small. So they should be able to cope. So we'll recruit full armies. We'll go to the port. We we'll embark. Right. And now we're going to. They've made peace, but um, this is where we declare war. We're going to go straight to the fortress with a full amount. That's going to be a success. And then the other province. Right, so we've got 100%. Let's try and annex him. Now, and look at Powys. How is Scotland doing? Let's improve relations with them. And let's maybe remove the one from England. Because England's sort of it's okay, 0%, zero, zero points at the moment, diplomatic relations. I think we're doing well with assimilation. And I think we'll get to our right, and now these people are at war. Always is at war, I think. Yeah, with the Kingdom of the Isles. So again, it presents us with an opportunity to attack him. I've got 5,000 in the bank. I'm going to recruit a few more guys there. Some there and the rest, the rest here. Disembark from Cork and Waterford. And now we're going to attack Owis. This one is going to take a castle, a fortress, and this is going to take the other province. Hopefully, it will be a question of one turn. Not quite, not quite, but I think we can do that. We can we just send the hundred there just to stop them from escaping and wasting our time and the rest will kill the stack there. Okay. That's a hundred percent. Right, so everything is going to plan. We've annexed everybody that we could annex. We're assimilating them fairly quickly, fairly painlessly. We've got a technology point, we're going to put it on, on tax. Now we're on turn 280 now. Um, Scotland is carrying on improving relations with them, still minus 22. Oh, and they're attacking, they're attacking England. Hmm, interesting. Is this my opportunity? Um, what is England doing? England is at war with France. It's obviously got them very weakened. Um, I'm going to wait for a couple of turns. England is fighting back. Two more turns. Five thousand in the bank. So I'm going to first of all take some loans. Let's take out five loans. Two, three, four, and five. This is probably an opportunity too good to miss. Too good to me is let's um, recruit some guys. So maybe it's 15, maybe a thousand here. 
How many can I recruit there? Not very many. And the rest in no movement points, right? Okay, let's do it here now. Now we'll take the provinces on the island of Ireland first. This is when we declare war. Sorry, England, in your moment of need. It's going to take those two provinces. Um, and we're going to try and defend and to send 500 there and 500 here. So that went well, and that. But well, Scotland got there first, but we got the other one. That's a shame. So we want to send these troops to sea. Let's see if we can get see if we can get Southampton before the Scots. Yeah, we got that. Now that's going to land. I think we're going to send a thousand, more or less a thousand everywhere. Two, the three provinces in Cornwall. This one we'll go here and see if we can get Brighton. That would be quite nice if we did. Right, this one is in landing, maybe it ran out of so um, let's try again. Yes, yeah, success. Right, I think I've got what I want. Would be nice to wait. A bit worried about Scotland becoming so powerful. Do we have a port? Port is in Cardiff, so let's send everything to Cardiff. Now, can they um, can they give me those provinces? If that's what I want. No, they, are. they can't give me all of those, but they could give me those. That would be enough to block Scotland. Um, yeah, let's get that for now. I made a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have taken those two in Dublin and Belfast, but never mind. Um, we're going to still making a loss. We're going to try and defeat the King of the Isles. We need to declare war first. Declare war and go for it. Yeah, that's a winner. Until we our army goes down a bit more, um, we still be in the red. Unless we can't assimilate anybody. Let's go here. Try and get stone away. Yes, another success. Okay, and now curve ball. And the job is done. Right, and you know what? I think we're going to um we're going to disband, disband the army, we're going to take our chance, we're still making a loss financially, so we've got to do it. Disband the army. Um, we're going to sue for peace and get those three provinces. Right, so um, we're in profit, but we really, we really need to um, get our budget up because we've got a lot of simulation to do. Luckily, I think we'll get there fairly quickly. Scotland, we've repaid our loans. Scotland is still at war. Scotland is still at war with England. 
think they probably want to take Cornwall and Ireland. I think I'll be ready for them when the time comes. Another technology point, we're going to put to income. Right, we are on turn 324. If Scotland takes the Irish provinces, then I think that will be complete confrontation. Can declare war for 13 turns against England. Oh, that's France now. That's a complication if France takes that province. France has taken those two. Right. Now they've made peace with England. And I think this is where I'm going to take the advantage because I can declare war. Oh, I can declare war now. I can declare war now. They're fairly weak. So I'm going to re recruit a thousand here and a thousand there. With England you have to strike when they're down. Recruit some more uh, here. I want to get some more here. In Brighton. I think we want to stop them here in Cornwall for now. Right, so we're at war with Flanders and Scotland. That war with Scotland has come at a very bad moment. I think we want to finish England first. I think we want to finish England first. So even though that's going to be a bit crazy, I'm going to declare England, war on England, and then carry on up to Scotland. Right here is Scotland first attack. And we're going to declare war on England. So we're going to try and neutralize England first, take all their provinces. Um, that first then will be Scotland. Well, we're at war with Flanders as well, which is a pain. Now, this is Flanders. I'm going to try and make peace with Flanders because I'm really not interested in them. Let's get these two troops back out to sea. Let's try and neutralize England completely if we can. Right, we defended against one Scottish attack, but not the second. But the campaign against England is going well. Right, so these ones are going to, on the sea are going to land there. Going to start um, fighting Scotland back. First try and get England out of the way, if we can. Right, these ones are going to stay there for now. Right, this is one success, not that one. I broke through, that's a shame. That's a shame. Now, uh, to just send a few there because I don't think England has got maybe just 11 troops to the tip of Cornwall. Let's see if I can stop this 57, hopefully. It's 100 there. 100 there. And the rest moves forward with these ones. These are going to stay here. The big army is going to stay here for a little bit longer. And that stays there as well. Right, England is finished. And some success against Scotland. That's good. If I can make peace with England now, I'll be very happy. Right, so from England, I can get those two provinces. I've got 23. Now I can have this, this, and London. That's about it, really. That is about it. Although I can sacrifice a four 
and take a five we take Canterbury or rather yeah no, Can Canterbury would be probably better right let's go for that and see if he accepts and um, it's time to move our army so that's a big army there and to go here and to go there it's going to join the big army okay guys we will leave it here if you have enjoyed this video please make sure that you like subscribe and comment as always thank you so much for watching I will see you next time. Bye. me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.